Jason from Activate Ed. And today we're going to talk a little bit about fatigue and recovery. And to do that, we're going to watch an athlete named Carl Lewis, who was a, a huge star in the 1980s and early 90s, and went undefeated in the long jump uh, for about 10 years. Also won multiple gold medals in the 100 metres, 200 metres, etc. So this is a series of six jumps, every one of which is over 8.6 metres. And the question that you might ask is, well, how is it possible for him to jump that far, um, you know, sometimes further, on each subsequent jump without experiencing fatigue? And the answer is that because this is a very short duration event and it's of maximal intensity, the predominant energy system is the ATP-CP system. And what we know about that system is that its fuel source is creatine phosphate. What we also know is that CP is best replenished through the use of a passive recovery. Now in the long jump, each time he jumps, he then gets to sit down and rest passively while all of his competitors jump. And he only needs three to five minutes of passive recovery to restore almost all of his CP stores. And that means that he starts every jump with almost full stores of CP, which enables him to jump maximally every single time he jumps. And in that way, he's able to jump further or just as far on each jump in his series of six. Thanks for listening. Tune in for future podcasts. See you soon.